Hello, I'm Bruce Hopkins, Vice President of Standards and Education for RVIA, and this week we're in Elkhart, Indiana to offer what we call our Troubleshooter Clinic, which is probably the, the best hands-on training for RV service technicians that's provided in the industry, where all of the training is provided by our member vendors uh, directly to the technicians so that they get the greatest and latest information on the products that they deal with on an everyday basis. RVI has been doing these troubleshooter clinics for about 15 years. It started in 1993. The program is quite unusual from a standpoint, and it's probably the best hands-on type training that's available. Plus, all of the courses are delivered by the vendors themselves. This week's class is really, really great because it's the first time that we've had over 100 students since March of 2007. And in this particular clinic, we've got representation from 35 different states and four different provinces in Canada. So it's really, really well attended, and this is the first time that we have split the students up based on their level of experience. So we have a student here that's only been in the industry for two weeks, and we have another tech that's been in the industry for 23 years. So we tried to group them so that their level of interest is addressed by the instructor so that he doesn't have to go through and try to talk down to the 23-year-old and talk over the head of the two-week-old. The core concentrations in the, in the clinic are predominantly appliances. We cover all four of the appliances, air conditioners, generators. They also get into hydraulics, uh, electricity, propane, and then uh, axles and uh, slide-out rooms. The instructors try very, very hard to get their point across for the products that they're dealing with, but they also try to do it on a general basis because the tech at the dealership, if a unit comes in, it doesn't matter. The tech has to deal with everything. So by having two different vendors in air conditioning, for example, they get to see what the differences are. Many air conditioners work the same, but here with both vendors here, they get to see what the differences are and, and how those appliances are actually treated and the differences between the two. I think that this particular clinic with 104 students here indicate that the industry is in fact returning because it, it says that the dealers are sending their technicians here to get the training and over the last two years so much of the training has been deleted uh, oftentimes in a recessionary situation education is often the first thing to go and now we are coming back as indicated by the level of students that are here this week this year we conducted two we did one in Ontario where we had um, I think it was 69 students and this is the last one for this calendar year and we're in the process of looking at possibly modifying the troubleshooter clinic to get more into a tract area uh, following a tract such as like on chassis they would cover axles and brakes and tires and uh, hitches perhaps um, maybe get into uh, slide out rooms and landing gear uh, leveling jacks that would all be in one tract so that if a particular technician wasn't interested in all of the topics that they have to that they're currently going through he could select the track that he wants so that he could get more specific training to the area that he has the greatest interest in. And we're looking at developing that for next year, perhaps. That still has to go through some development and things, but um, talking with the technicians, they think that would be really great. I do think that this is probably one of the industry's best kept secret. We still have technicians that say, gee, I really wish I would have known about that clinic. I would have attended. And it's like we try to announce it and, and get the manufacturers and suppliers to help us notify the dealership body uh, to come and attend. And still a lot of people miss out on the opportunity.